Hello everyone, today's first look is a look at my own upcoming asset, Game Templates for Game Creator. We're going to have a first look at the third person template with the base dependencies. Before we start, I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the amazing support. So before we get started, I want to highlight a couple of things here. So first things first, this is the scene that is um, using uh, Game Creator and the stats module as a base dependency. The reason I chose to include the stats module as a base dependency is simply because it allows for so much more. It really is a limitation without the stats module, in my personal opinion. So that's why I chose to have that as a dependency as well. Um, second thing I'd like to highlight is that every scene has a first person, third person and top down variation. The reason I'm not simply switching camera motors is because some of the actions will also be different. Things just don't always look as good um, if you just switch uh, camera view. So that's why there'll be different scenes. So yeah, let's get started. So you'll be prompted with a explanation of what it all is. So basically I'm explaining here where you can find everything in the hierarchy. So as you can see, there's a lot of different folders and all of the folders are named after, um, you know, the modules. So if you have all of the modules, you'll, you know, you'll pick this folder and suddenly you'll have tons more options. So, yeah, quite interesting. Um, the reason I chose to start showing uh, this scene is because I think it's really cool to already show what you can do with just core and stats. But yeah, there will be some limitations. Um, this is where all of the, uh, you know, all of the uh, animations, images, prefabs, states, etc., are stored. Um, there's a bit more than this now, but you know, this is where you can find everything included. There's a ton of animations in here, so Some of the basic controls and You know showing how everything is explained in the scenes as well. This is the hierarchy structure. So the scene hierarchy um, I try to make everything really easy manageable uh, everything will be a prefab of course and most of the actions you'll see now are based on the player. So the player actually houses most things here, which I thought was a, a good way to do it. And yeah, every room has a, a slightly different theme. So let's get started. As you can see, we're walking as well by default. Um, one of the changes and we'll have a separate run button. So we have our stats, um, health, mana, stamina, and we have a minimap. Now about this minimap, just to be clear, this is a basic, basic minimap, just using some camera actions and a raw image. If you want something a bit more elaborate, I definitely recommend using UI components, for example. It has a way better system. Um, so yeah, this is a, uh, a really basic minimap. So let's continue. First things first, we have our save point. Um, I know it says red cube, I still need to change that. So the save point obviously is something you'd expect uh, inspect in the hierarchy as well as to how it works. Um, we have swimming and swimming is just based on tags. So this has a water tag and it'll change our state. We can swim faster as well, um, you know, just by holding shift, which is also the run button and we'll get out of the water. In our next scene, we have our melee scene. As you can see, the scene is pretty empty. That's because we don't have the melee module here. So we're just doing everything with the core. And we have a, uh, a melee state as well, just like the melee module does it. But um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's a lot more basic. Um, this is one with health and we'll need to punch it a couple of times and it breaks. Um, there's different animations if you run, for example. Um, there's kicks in here as well, which I'll, uh, I'll show in a bit. But yeah, this is, uh, you know, it's a basic, um, basic melee system, but just done with core and 
well just core actually um, next up we have a really simple moving platform and we're off to the more interesting part so I've created a uh, contextual system with core game creator so um, the contextual system basically like you see here with F um, reacts to tags in front of the player and based on the tag something else will happen once you press F and you basically get a different prompt um, obviously you know in inspected in a hierarchy I try to put as much as possible under the player so that you don't really have to do much with the objects there was just one case of the marker it could be placed under the player as well but it gives some limitations as to um, you know creating some variety so you could place them under the player as well but I'd, I'd recommend doing it under the object but you know that's one thing you can uh, you can change yourself if you want to so let's have a look at all of these contextual actions so first things first, this is a, uh, a bench. So yeah, it's, uh, you know, we can sit on the bench. So pretty cool, different animations for male or female as well. So depending on your pick. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's sitting down. I, uh, I chose to keep the an camera angle like that. So it functions like in, uh, in Assassin's Creed, for example, where you sit down and it functions like that as well. I'm not going to show the door yet because it's not finished. Um, some of the animations are still a bit wonky. Um, this is slightly more interesting. So this is a takedown. So as you can see, we're taking out the character. I always like take, uh, takedowns in games. I think it's, uh, it's a really cool mechanic. Um, I really, yeah, personally really like it. Uh, it functions differently. I mean, not functions differently. It looks different if you have a, uh, you know, if you're using the melee scene or the gun, uh, the shooter scene. So if the player is holding a gun, it will be a different uh, takedown. Um, so it will be an execution. If you are using a sword, it will yet again be a different takedown. So all animation based, of course, but pretty cool. So yeah, something basic here. So this is no traversal, um, but this is just some basic, um, you know, parkour interaction. And let's go to the next scene. And here we have the melee and um, the magic and skill system. So as you can see now, we have some magical abilities or powers, whatever you want to call them. We have our um, our bar here as well with our level so this is our experience um, as you saw we had a level up animation as well and you know using the the keys right now is tied to the uh, to the magical abilities but you can change that to something else so if we uh, press F we'll close this so this is the menu and I didn't show anything before and I'll uh, I'll do that in a bit. I'll go over everything else as well, but let's just follow the indications here. So we uh, basically level the way the system works right now. If you level, you will use a skill point. Um, for the purpose of this, uh, you know, this demonstration, I've unlocked skill points, so you know it's unlimited, so it doesn't really cost anything. Um, and yeah, these are uh, these are the skills. So let's go through them. So this is a real-time view of the character. Now, when you press pause, the scene is closed, of course. So that's why the character is frozen. But it's a, a real-time view. Just going to go slightly over everything else before I continue with skills. So this is the uh, expanded version of the map. Again, just a basic camera system with raw image. But I thought it would be cool. So yeah, nothing else. No markers, no pointers. That's, uh, that's something I'll leave over to uh, the actual assets on this. Um, we have our settings, so we can change field of view, um, language, quality settings, and we can, um, you know, we can pick a male or female character. Um, you know, the female character is included as well. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, in the character scene, we have our skills, and if you hover over, you'll see a, uh, a short explanation. So all of this is based on skill points, so leveling up, leveling up earns skill points. Uh, just inspecting the hierarchy, 
uh, again the player where you'll find uh, the skill points etc every skill has a, a basic level 2 so it just increases damage all damage systems are based on variables which is why you can just easily switch them again inspect the hierarchy uh, under the player to see how this functions um, I chose to have some skills um, you know by default unlocked and some of them just completely locked so I'll, uh, I'll unlock this as well which basically allows us to do a kick uh, or several kick attacks um, we have the magical abilities so I'll, uh, I'll demonstrate these in a bit and yeah these are the all of the basic stats which we can uh, upgrade as well now this is another interesting thing um, you know bit inspired by uh, by Dragon Ball I'm not gonna lie basically we also have the ability to uh, draw ma stamina and get uh, get mana in return so uh, I'll, I'll show that in a bit as well I thought it was pretty cool uh, we have the same explanation here of uh, you know our experience and our level so pretty cool. I'm going to leave everything else. I mean, you won't see damage increases anyway. So, so as you can see, our uh, our stamina is uh, is restoring, and we have our magical abilities. So I'm going to use one here, um, which is this one. And yeah, that's a uh, a push. Thought it was pretty cool. Added some uh, some <laughs> basic. Uh, basic effects as well but basically on uh, players this works as well so it's not just a trigger that um, you know causes the damage there's an actual collider as well so it actually gives force so they'll actually be pushed back um, which is pretty interesting um, as you can see uh, the abilities change depending on if you have enough mana or, uh, or not so as you can see now we just got enough so we can use this one as well um, which is slightly different and I'll uh, get closer but yeah slightly more elaborate magic skill as you can see higher damage but as you can see this drains a lot of mana so we can't do anything so now I'll hold my shift button and uh, you know we're charging and we're slight getting slightly more this is why you can upgrade it as well we're getting slightly more mana in return and we're draining our stamina bar so yeah pretty uh pretty cool these are all obviously just um variables so you can change the speed if you think this is too slow by default too fast um etc so yeah pretty cool um obviously there's other magical skills but yeah it's uh i still prefer this one myself i think it's cool so that's it um basically this is a uh a area of effect one and a uh, just a basic shooter blast and the last prompt in this scene um, holding spacebar again will cancel flight so we can fly cool and flying um, I've covered this before but you know these are my own animations so uh, yeah you know I think it's cool I always uh, like the ability to fly um, speed I didn't actually mention that but the speed while running and um, speed while flying increases the longer you hold the button as well so you know if you as you can see we're going a bit slower and then we're getting a boost increase the same goes for walking the increase is not as fast and you know when you walk or run uh, the speed will be quite a bit lower but yeah pretty cool so yeah I mean that's it so far for this scene um, I uh, I wanted to highlight this, you know, I wanted to show what I've done so far for the core and uh, and stats dependencies. Um, most of the other work I've done so far is related to uh, to inventory. So in, when it comes to inventory, I've added the ability to fish, cook, um, chop for wood, mine, uh, craft, at a smith. Um, all of those things which I'll, uh, I'll show off in uh, a short amount of time as well. So let me know what you think so far and uh, thanks for watching.